Grant, can we just uh, start with how you are? I know you've been on sort of this fitness programme, how close do you feel you are to being available again? Um, no, I, I think time will tell and it's you know it's hard to really put a time scale on it or, or labour how long I think it's got to be but um, obviously we made a decision to sort of take a step back and yeah. um, you know change what we're doing a little bit um, and we're, we know we're seeing improvements so um, you know hopefully that that could continue and hopefully you know some point in the near future and get back involved with the team and, and train and play. Yeah, in terms of how that sort of came about, was that was that the manager's suggestion or was it something you came to uh, together? No, or? no, it's, it's something that came to me. It was it was oh, my okay. decision at the end of the day, and obviously it was fully backed by medical staff and yeah. coaching staff, managers. Um, you know, I, I just felt like physically I wasn't um, at a place where I could perform anywhere needed. Where I, uh, sorry, anywhere where. I needed to be so um you know it was a decision coming for me and that was that was fully backed and um you know like i said i've already started to see improvement so uh, you know i'm i'm comfortable with that that was the right decision i know when i spoke to you before you said and i think a lot of people can, can tell really that you get a lot better with games and that it sort of maybe takes you a bit of time in, in games to get to your top level was there why did it feel different to, to normal why did you not just feel like playing um, games pro probably you know, probably underestimated injury, and probably along the way there was times where um, I probably really wasn't one hundred percent honest in terms of how everyone was feeling. Um, until it got to the point where I was back out there and I was training and playing, and uh, you know, probably being a bit stubborn, th thinking like you said, it'll take the time one, two, three, four games, maybe five, six games to get back to where I needed to be. But um, you know, what I was feeling wasn't getting any better. It was probably getting worse in terms of physically and what I was, how I was able to perform physically. So. Um, and that was it. Like I said, throughout my career, whenever I've had injuries coming back, it's always been whether it's pain or whether it's you know movement or whether it's performance. It's always just get your heads and keep working hard, and and you and you'll get there. But you know, I tried that, and that, and that was need to be. And, and like I said, we've we've taken a step back, you know, changed a couple of things about how we approached it, tried to resolve a couple of issues which are resolving. So. Um, uh, so no, de definitely happy and definitely positive that we, um, you know, we made that decision. Yeah, when you went to the manager or you went to coaching staff about that, were they surprised at all to, to hear you say that or, or how did they take it? Um, no, I have to say really, I think it was, you know, I, I'm no a young kid, you know, I've, I've been in the game long enough to, um, you know, to make decisions for, for myself and I think it was, you know, it wasn't a, a decision that comes easy, I knew you know, it was time sensitive in terms of the end of the season's coming. We're hopefully going to make playoffs. You know, I'm desperate to be involved in them. Um, I've got a Euros, score Scotland, I've got a Euros in the summer that I'm trying to, you know, do my best to get involved in. So it obviously wasn't a decision I took lightly. Everything was telling me, like I mentioned before, just keep the heads in, keep working hard, and, keep, and hopefully you get there. But um, I, I just knew I wasn't doing myself justice, and you know it gets to a point where um, you know you know not just phys physically, but you know mentally in terms of confidence and stuff, and how you're going out on the pitch. You know, knowing that you weren't going to perform how you wanted to because of um, where you were at physically. Um, and like I said, I can't you know I, I can't say one word wrong about the medical sports science staff at Norwich they gave me absolutely everything yeah. um, and like I said probably my naivety in terms of having a long term injury and, and the severity of the injury and how long it would take me to sort of um, improve certain things where I you know, probably ignored and um, should have took a bit more time at certain stages but you know again it was me and, and uh, you know and constantly as a footballer you're, you're in a rush to get back you're, you're always you're always flying so close to that borderline, uh, uh, you know, doing too much, um, and, and probably what I've done, probably what I've done. You mentioned Scotland. I was going to ask you about that. How did they sort of take it? Because I think it was it was before an international break, wasn't it, that you sort of started that? Yeah, yeah. No, they've they, been good with you about it. Yeah, and obviously they named me in the squad, which I think yeah. fair play to them because obviously it wasn't. A, off the back of performing really well, I probably did the merit at, um, off the back of my performances, but um, probably just a you know a little nod to um, you know what I've done in the past, which you know which was, was really nice. That was obviously a bit of confidence boost for me to, to, to see that you know I'm still uh, in their thoughts after being it for so long, after coming back and playing you know a handful of games and not really performing yeah. anywhere near where I was before I got injured. Um, so now obviously I've, I've spoke to Scotland and. 
um, you know, it's up to me. I think you know it's an old cliche, and, and I've certainly said it loads in the past, and I'm sure other players have. But you need to be playing at your club level. You need to be playing well to be selected for international football. So, um, you know, that's where I'm at. As you said, the Euro is obviously this summer, and if you can get your fitness to where you want it to be, which it sounds like, obviously, if things are going well, then then you will. How excited are you for that for that tournament? No, of course, that's. Um, I've played in one for Scotland before. We've also played in the yeah. Euros, um, albeit during COVID, where um, you know fans were reduced and and what have you. But you know, without doubt, one of the best experiences of my career. So you know, I can only imagine what it'd be like. Um, you know, when the stadiums are full. Yeah. So you know, obviously, getting not getting any younger either. So chances of playing in things like that are probably going to be limited. Yeah. Um, so no, obviously, the main main focus is. You know, try to get myself fit and, and, and somehow trying to um, get involved with that. Yeah, is, uh, is it something you and, and Angus and Kenny are talking about at all, or is it all fun? No, I, I think it's like when we're at Norwich, obviously, that's I probably answer, should answer the question yeah. previous like that. You know, this uh, uh, the only thing in our mind at the minute is is yeah. what we're doing at Norwich. I mean, obviously, we'll put ourselves in a you know a right good position for coming to. Uh, you know, at one stage you, you would have thought it was possible. So you know, credit to the lads. I think they've been, you know, absolutely excellent, and um, the, the improvements we've made, and um, you know, just shows what we are capable of. And I know you'll be frustrated with your season. You you said there, obviously, that you don't feel you are up to maybe your your levels. But I suppose what this end of the season with the Euros and with hopefully a playoff campaign gives you is the opportunity to really turn it around and actually make what, what could have been quite a frustrating season into a really memorable one. No, of course, and I think, you know, the thing is with football, you know, it changes very quickly, you know, it yeah. can change, you know, for better or for worse, so, uh, you know, that's it, and the only things that you can control are, you know, how hard you work and how much you prepare and, you know, try and give yourself the best chance possible to, to get on the pitch and to perform, so... Um, you know that's where I'm at personally, and um, so see how it goes. Obviously, while you're working individually, you're not in team training and things like that. But how how close are you to the group, and how much are you around them? No, of course, that uh, when you're injured, your your schedules are sort of different. Yeah. So, but you certainly overlap it. Training ground, and you you know you get to spend time with lads. Obviously, home games and stuff. I'm always around the best room and stuff, but um, and in there I'm trying to help with what I can or get involved with what I can, but. Um, no, it's it is difficult, especially being you know one of the senior lads. You feel like you know, first of all, you want to contribute on the pitch, and you want to you want to be doing your job. Um, you know, so that's probably something that I've you know found difficult, but you know, just accepting that and 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 really trying to help with um, in whatever way possible off the pitch. How proud have you been of the lads and their performances since you've been out? No, I think they've done they've done excellent. Like I said, I think you know coming obviously starting the season well and then having a different form for a while. You know, I think it was. It was difficult for us, but you know I think the character that we've shown and um, you know the improvements we've made and the position we've put ourselves now, where it's you know it's the playoffs are in our control, which it was at the start of the season, um, you know especially with the teams and the quality that are in this league this year, um, it was always going to be a target. So you know we put ourselves in with a chance of achieving that. So um, you know that's all that's all we can control and that's all we can focus on. Just to finish with, we're obviously at a sort of fan event. And I wanted to ask you about the fans. I think you were on the bench for that Watford game, were you? Where it sort of turned quite a bit and it was quite toxic. But now it feels like actually the fans are playing a, a really positive role. Mm -hmm. How good is it for you to see that that sort of turnaround and how big have the fans been recently? Oh, of course. I think you know every footballer tell you, and you know, everyone who's played the game will, t will, will tell you how big an influence the fans can have, yeah. how big an influence. Um, you know the atmosphere around the stadium, um, how much that can help you. There's obviously been times this year where um, you know we've been struggling, and um, you know the atmosphere hasn't been great. Um, and again, probably credit to the lads, you know, for digging in and, and, and turning that round. And you know, none more so than the weekend was probably the perfect example of that against Ipswich, where um, you know I don't, I'm not quite sure I've seen Carrow Road like that before, and. Um, without doubt, that had a big part to play, and um, how the game well, how the game went, and how well the lads played. Yeah, good stuff.